on to battle scenes. So, uh, just like we were doing the other ones in order, we are going to do Commander going first this week. So, Commander, tell us about your battle scene. Okay, so my bad OC for this week is Flicker Flash. Uh, Flicker Flash, who uh, has nicknames of Flick or just Flicker, uh, is a quiet, determined pony who mostly keeps to herself and is not too friendly towards others. For accessories, she only uh, her accessories are the hoof covers that you can see there, which are the gray, which are made from light metal. Uh, which is a big part of the sort of backstory, which I will, uh, I will try to read as best as I can. Okay. So, Flicker grew up near Ponyville in a small hut with her father, and she didn't really like hanging out with other ponies. But uh, her dad didn't really care, and uh, like was or just let her help uh, help him around the house, and like uh, like helped him with his hobby, or uh, or. Yeah, helped him with his little hobby kind of thing, which I wouldn't really call it a hobby since he's it's what he does for a living. But uh, he, her father was like a crafter kind of blacksmith pony who would meld iron and metal and different things like that into arch or just different like things that people wanted. And when Flicker was bored, she would uh, try to or she'd try and help her dad, who was happy to teach her all about these things. Eventually, though, Flicker grew tired of this, like falling into the this sort of schedule that she like did with her dad, where everything was just sort of, was sort of like I guess a bit of a rut, probably in her mind. And then d- discovered a new interest of hers, racing. Uh, but so even though she's a preg- Pegasus, though she's really not that swift on her feet. And even though she tries really hard. But one day, she noticed she wasn't as fast as the Earth Ponies. Uh, but to help with this, she started trying to look for, er, for some horseshoes to wear to uh, ease the occasional pain of racing. Uh, she couldn't afford them, unfortunately, so what she did was she used all the skills she had acquired from her dad and made her those light metal who boot things. And when she was making those, she earned her cutie mark which is a flash of light symbolizing her speed in racing and her strength uh, whenever she pelted down the heated metal, or heated metal with a hammer. Coming from my extensive knowledge with equestrian horseshoes and whatnot and working around horseshoes and being uh, somewhat known for that uh, because I dated an equestrian for uh, eight oh. months. Oh, man. Um, vast knowledge. Yeah, no, that's not... Well, how horseshoes work. You don't get... You don't get to do that. I'm sorry, but... No, that doesn't... That's not how it works. You don't just wrap your entire foot with a shoe. No, dude, it's a horseshoe. Just, no. It doesn't make sense. And I don't get it. Honestly, it probably just would fuck up your hooves. Yeah, it probably would fuck up your hooves. Like, you get all that major, rot. Major medical issues. Yeah, that's some serious rot. I mean, the story is okay. Like, working with your father is fine and whatever. But I don't get why she... Wait, why did she want to go racing again? Uh, because it was an interest of her. It's not really described. It's just sort of, I mean, it's just sort of stated that like, after after the the sort of exposition of the, of the whole stuff with the dad and how she got, acquired the these skills, it's just like oh she likes racing. She's not that she's not the fastest. So to compensate for that, she made these boots using her skills. Mm. Even the boots wouldn't help that out much, but that's beside the point. Like like her getting into like all and learning these skills from her dad. That's one thing because. I mean, if your if your parents are doing something, you're going to be around them a lot. A lot of times, you'll it, it, a lot of times people will pick up skills that their parents have, and their parents will go out and teach them the skills that they've learned and stuff like that. That is totally believable, totally understandable. But there's it just seems weird that you just you're just like, oh yeah, she got bored after a while, and then it was like, I like racing, and it doesn't like. I mean, you don't really have very much space to that. You you didn't you really use too much space to try and describe your character, and you don't want to try and you don't want to use too much, but it could be done in a way that doesn't feel so 
out of nowhere, out of, out of place almost. Yeah. Especially given that she apparently isn't that swift on her feet. This character, aesthetically, I mean, because it, it, it's a pretty, pretty much, aside from very minor things, is monochromatic and is all just red. And I'll give one thing I'll give them is that I like most of the reds they chose actually pretty well. Yeah. Um, I I definitely like the the coat color for the or red, and I don't know. I'm trying to think of what other red. The the wings, the lighter color in the wings specifically, I like those two a lot. Which I can't tell if, is that is that color also used in the main at all? No. no. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um, but the, I I definitely I like that, and I think that as far as monochromatic red colors on ponies goes, this is this is not bad. But I don't know. There's still some problems. Uh, like, just style, like, with, just, or I guess, in ge- most of my problems, honestly, just stem from general things, like, the way that the hair works with the colors and wh- how they split, because mm-hmm. y- your hair grows in strands, you, you color, uh, it wouldn't just change colors randomly, and that's what it looks like it would be doing what you have yeah which is the thing that i i i mean yeah it's it, like they're it's like it's a cartoon horse so with hair is it's like it's like whatever i can do what i want but at the same time it's still hair and hair is still just, it just works the same it grows out of your skull <laughs> and these like it like it doesn't change once it's growing really and so that's that's the thing I try to hammer home. I sometimes wonder how how futile it is. This pony is extremely skinny. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty they're they're pretty skinny pony. They're a very skinny pony. I do not believe that that's very uh healthy. Um, healthy look. Yeah, I think she needs to stop dieting and actually eat a fucking sandwich. <laughs> it's also the fact that the wings look a little weird. Like the, they, the wings definitely do look a little bit weird. I don't quite get. I don't quite get the style of the wings. Maybe, maybe I'm just missing something. But uh, it's weird. Maybe, maybe that's why she's not that great at uh, being uh, like quick on her feet. Is her wings are just like all, you know, like ah, we're different and weird. Yeah. It also looks like they take up her entire side when most Pegasus wings should really be coming out from a single point. Yeah. Not the entire side of her body. I was just I was just sort of thinking about that too. They're kinda like they're kinda they're... like a combination of plain wings and giant <laughs> flames. Yeah. That's what they kinda look like. The wings are on fire <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh but that's just a sort of general art thing, so I mean, if that's not a critique necessarily of the character, unless this character specifically has different wings than other ponies. But that's I don't know. Also, the cutie mark seems a little light and tiny, and not at all visible. Not at all visible. I don't quite get what about like I, I don't know. I don't get its meaning. I don't really get. I don't get how it ties to what it's supposed to mean. I don't get why it doesn't even feel like it should be what it means. And it also, it just, I'm just going to be really honest like the, or with this. It, it looks like a swastika. Yeah. Like, like, like the, the way that it is structured is in that sort of shape. And since it's so... It's so low, there's such a low resolution. I, I can't tell if it's just the fact that there's so few pixels or what you were going for or anything. If I, I, I'd at least do a thing by itself of the cutie mark just to clarify what it is. Yeah, like I can understand like something hitting something as hard as possible, and the energy from that sparks and creates, you know light or sparks off shards or whatever, but that's not... I don't know. 
Oh, overall, this character isn't it, it isn't totally awful, but there's definitely some some things that need to be fixed, in my opinion. But it's I don't know. Make it make what or make me believe that the character would even have an interest in racing, and then redesign your cutie mark. Those are the two biggest things I will say. Well, that's cool, Commander. Thank you yeah. very much for bringing that on. Uh, but we all f- always have to move away from Commander Shitty Bad OSA to my awesome Bad OSA. Uh. Uh, so, my Bad OSA this week is... A blast isn't, from the fucking past. Yeah, it's sort of a blast from the past because we can't really critique this OC as best as we could because we know how much this person has grown as an artist. But I think it would be very nice just to be able to talk about someone that really has been there from, like, the beginning for us and being able to, like, talk about how much her art has improved. But to be fair, this OC isn't the best well shown. This OC is Sweet Dreams by Porcelain Parasite, our, like, just best person ever. I just love her. She's she's the best. She's one of the biggest reasons why we actually, you know, kept going. Yeah. All the shit. We love Porcelain. Porcelain we just can't get awesome. enough of her. We really miss you. Sorry we are the dark in so long. Yeah. So, this is Sweet Dreams by Porcelain Parasite. Uh, her special talent is... Um... Being able to help little fillies get to sleep with peaceful dreams. And she sort of got this uh, talent for, like, dream telepathy and projection. Which kind of is essentially what Luna was doing. But this character was made, like, long before that was ever a thing. So if there was one person to count as, like, being on this before Luna, Porcelain Parasite, she's on it. And that's a really cool idea and concept at the time. It seems like a really fun, like, idea. It's like, yeah, I can I can get behind that. Uh, her herself sleeps a lot on random clouds floating by. Um, as, and apparently her mane is so long that it brushes the ground as she floats along. And I'm just like, oh. Oh, yeah. She's more of an urban legend, too, because that she's sort of proof that, you know, when her vein touches the ground, it's sort of proof that she's out there somewhere. Um, and yeah, like little Phillies sleep well, knowing that she's there to protect you from nightmares. This OC has a great story, but is not the best represented. It's very... It's a nice color scheme. It was just kind of poorly depicted but then again we've talked about porcelain parasites style and how unique and interesting it is and how like her brushwork and everything is very designed and fun and interesting and to see her go from like her early stuff to like the stuff she's doing now like her latest stuff is such like inspiration it's inspiration in my opinion it's just so it's so great to see like her become getting better with her art doing commissions for people and everything like that like her art is just really great i just really like it i like the story this character's like story and background and kind of her palette but i don't know there's nothing here that really seems to wow me in my opinion, but I still love this piece. Like, it's depicting this, like, soft little pony sleeping on a cloud very well. And it feels like something, like, that, like, wood-painted little pictures of ponies and, like, bedroom murals. It's more of a good part, two than anything else. I don't really have too many complaints, honestly, like, about this character. I honestly... I, 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 don't, I, I really I can't think of really any. It's really weird. 
Yeah. Damn, all five. So that's this last one. So uh, moving on to voting this week. So this week I brought on Lana Lana for uh, by SJ Art one one seven, and then Commander brought on Woodland Spring by Princess Madeline. Uh, so Commander, do you think my OC is better than your OC? I like your OC, but no. And that's the thing about. Do you think mine my is? I think yours is. So I do think you brought on the better of the two OCs. So I will Ooh. give you this one, Commander. You win good OC this week. Yeah. So moving on to bad OC. I don't even know why I'm going to bother with this one because it's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. So your, your OC wasn't really bad. My it, OC well, was. well, uh, I have Sweet Dreams by Porcelain Parasite. And then Commander brought on Flicker Flash by Serpent Teen. Uh, Commander, do you think my OC is worse than your OC? No. Uh, and I don't believe my OC is worse than Commander's. Commander's OC is... Shut bad. down! Commander shuts it down this week in a two-man episode. whoopity do hey, Where we had to actually agree. Yeah. Speaking of wonderful OCs, or not-so-wonderful OCs that we just featured, if you happen to have a OC that you would like us to critique, or you have a question or anything like that, you can always submit it to us at yourocsucks.deviantart.com. You can send it into our Twitter or any other questions at our Twitter handle, at yourocsucks. If you want, you can always submit it through email as well. Our email is podcast at gmail.com. And then we also have a Tumblr where you can submit your OCs as well. Uh, podcast.tumblr.com. So that as well as the show is supported by the lovely people over at patreon.com. You too can become a supporter of the show and donate a small or large monetary donation to us and have it support us. Uh, episode by episode that we release. Uh, a little thing that I never really mentioned, or probably haven't mentioned, is the fact that uh, our Patreon is only for when we upload actual Euro C Sucks episodes. They're not covering our uh, That Pony show, or our video vlogs, or anything like that. When you support us through Patreon, it's for the main show itself. So don't worry about having to, like, worry about, well, I don't really care. Like, if they po- po- upload, like, 18... Uh, travel vlog videos, that's going to ruin me or something like that. It's like, you don't have to worry about that. We're only going to be doing it uh, week by week for our actual show. Yeah. Um, so, that's all of our plugs. Uh, anything else you want to talk about, Commander, before I move on to what we're going to be doing this next week? Um, uh, I don't really think so, except for the fact that we're going to be at BronyCon when this is airing. Uh, this episode, if you were watching it the day of, or somehow the weekend it is at, well, guess what? Uh, this is premiering the weekend we are at BronyCon, which Bronycon. is a lovely convention in Baltimore, Maryland, where it is coined as Brony Mecca, mostly by me, but, um... Wait, what? Brody it is Mecca. <laughs> it is Brody Mecca. It is everybody takes a pilgrimage once a year to Baltimore to just Brony it out, and I believe everybody should. Everybody and anybody should make that trip out to Baltimore at least once a year. So uh, we are going to be doing that. If you are watching this early morning Friday, you actually still have time to make it to our little fan get together meetup thing at two p.m. At the Jimmy John's across the street, just uh, to the left of the convention center. And just walk out the main entry, main the hall left, of the convention the left, center. The left from if you're facing or not facing. If you're leaving the convention out the front door, you head to the left. Okay. And I think you are going to love it there, Commander. Because I mean, this is going to be your first bolt, your Bernie Con, and you're just going to have a blast. Um, I, I, do you mean just a BronyCon or a Jimmy John's? Because we have a Jimmy John's here, too. No, I mean BronyCon. Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck would I care about you having a blast at Jimmy John's? I don't fucking know. You were just talking about Jimmy John's. I'm fucking talking about going I'm to the convention. Moving on, too. Anyway, uh, that's where we're going to be at this weekend. Go ahead. if you're Even if you're seeing this after the 2 p.m. on Friday, uh, the 7th, go just... 
if you see us, stop us, say yeah. hey, Tag you us know, down, introduce us. Like, hey, I'm a fan of the show. Punch Commander in the face. Don't you know, punch it's just... me. Don't punch me in the face. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Don't punch Commander in the face. But uh, like, you don't have to really worry. We're just we're normal people. Like, just don't don't freak out too much because freaking out is just act normal, I guess. When we get back, we will be uploading a convention vlog Woo! of all of us, and then there will be a recap. And then after that, we will definitely be back with Griffins. Yeah, Griffins is definitely going to be episode 75, because 74 is going to be that Bernie Con thing. Yeah. And then after that, are we doing Diamond Dogs right after that? I think we might be. I don't know. I think and we are. So, Diamond Dogs, are we doing Draconicus? I think so. Okay, well, I think I'm we have enough. pretty sure we're doing Draconicus, because th- I've seen a bunch. And then, for sure, we are always, we're de- if you have any hybrid ponies, or any species that you don't think would fit into a normal theme, we will be doing hybrid and other at, at the end of the block, the species block. So, s- submit those if you haven't already. This has been your OC Sucks. My name is Mofi Thunbirds. I am the host and show manager of this, and I have been joined by Commander Sparkle. And remember, your OC sucks.